Hello, YouTubers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to P-Dino. I hope you are doing well today. Yes, and my Mr. Otis is doing just dandy. And today, I just wanted to speak to you about something off the cuff. Now, every once in a while, I'll come across a story and I think, hmm, is that true? Could that be true? And then I think about the things that have happened to me in my life. And I'm thinking, hmm, yeah. <laughs> that can be true. Even though sometimes I look for a second source, I'm okay. I'm still like, okay, but I kind of think it could be. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. So let's just take it with a grain of salt. And let's listen to what has come out and let's just kind of evaluate the situation. Yes, let's get into it. Apparently, Elton John reveals that Meghan Markle's shady deals with a role that she wanted on an HBO series and her money making tactics. We're going to look at this story because we do know that there was this case with Kevin Spacey and he won it. And it involves a testimony that Elton John gave during this court case and what he actually said. And we're going to look at that. So nothing about Meghan Markle's past would surprise me. Now, we all know her past. We all know that she was an actress. She was doing a little bit of some, something in Hollywood. And yeah, there's just a certain kind of lifestyle that happens to people, especially women in Hollywood. First hand facts here. Yeah, I can testify. <laughs> I can testify to the validity of this information. OK, now. Trying to connect with wealthy men, uh, you know, like exactly what I would expect from her after getting involved with Prince Harry. <laughs> yes. And, you know, it's so interesting. So when I moved to California, I was a young, naive girl. I was so naive. I thought, you know, I'm going to be an actress. <laughs> you know, I study and I, I think I can do this. You know, I was bold, y'all. I bolted out of Ohio. I was gone. I was gone. I went to Hollywood and lived with my aunt for a while and, you know, had some little other arrangements here and there. You can read about it in my book. And I did some things and then I started to notice a pattern. It was like, and I never thought this of myself. I mean, what young girl does? But I was like a magnet for some perversion a magnet I'm like well what's going on here can I just get an acting job please like 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 what what suddenly I was this this woman that people saw me as and I'm like well I didn't see myself as this what's going on and it was disturbing to me I was like uh-uh mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I started to see the picture about how people see young girls Oh, yes. You don't think this when you don't see yourself as this, but you, you slowly start to get things revealed to you when you're around a lot of people. And that's exactly what happened to me, folks. And I can tell you right now, this Megan, this story right now, I, I believe it. I just believe it. OK, but it is alleged. We must say that. OK, so Elton John, he provides evidence in Kevin Spacey's trial. Um, Kevin broke down in tears as a UK court found him not guilty of nine charges of sexual assault, including the most serious charges of causing a person to engage in a penetrative. Uh, yeah, assault. We know. Fill it in. I think I'm saying that word too much. OK. So this means that on his 64th birthday, Spacey had been cleared of all charges against him. And the jury just took 12 hours over two and a half days to reach this decision. And I can imagine he was very, very excited. I don't know much about it, but, you know, I know Hollywood and I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, these kind of things do happen in Hollywood. Yes. Mm hmm. Now, it's been claimed that Megan was involved with a disgraced producer, Brett Ratner and Harvey Weinstein. For real? <laughs> I'm going to say allegedly she was involved with them for fun and uh, 
fun and blow for free. I, I mean, OK, I don't know this concept, fun and blow for free. But let's just fill it in what we think it could be. Fill it in, folks. Yes, he wants to cuddle up for this one because we get into the neck of the woods on this story. Now, Meghan Markle was known as an actress before marrying Harry, and she had roles beyond her famous portrayal of paralegal Rachel Zane, and we know the show Suits, which made her a D-list actress. Now, in 2011, with the film Horrible Bosses starring Jennifer Aniston, Jason Bateman, and Kevin Spacey, Megan... Megan, she had a small role aiming to star in a big movie alongside stars like Aniston. You could imagine that girl was geeking when she got that role. She's like, oh, my God, <laughs> I'm in a film with Jennifer Aniston and Kevin Spacey. And I, oh, my goodness, I am so excited. You know, she hit the roof just like I'm on my way. OK, so allegations participating in overnight parties with Brett Radner. And Harvey Weinstein, now we already know what Mr. Harvey has been accused of and found guilty of. He's currently serving some time in prison. So, yeah, I could see this based on some things that we know a little bit. Some, some we can allege. Yeah. OK. So and Kevin Spacey was at this party. Now, this all surfaced and it was also backed up by Elton John during his testimony in the Kevin Spacey lawsuit lawsuit, which involves Prince Harry's case with the UK publishers. Now, looking at photos of Megan mingling around private vehicles of the royal family at matches raises concerns about her being an underhanded and lacking boundaries because we all remember when she was like scoping out the vehicles of the royal family at a at a at a game a polo match and yeah she had to be like like back off woman back off know your boundaries they had to like put a stop to it so we can see she's used to going there We've seen proof of it. We've seen evidence of it. OK, so we can infer that this could happen with this woman. At least I know I can. Can you? OK, let's just be smart. Let's just think critically here. OK, now looking at the photos of Megan mingling. OK, so we know that about her. OK, like just like, OK, let me go see what this is. Let me go see what that is. Oh, OK, like, you know, she like just taking a little bit, a little something, something looking and poking around because she can never just mind her business about what it is that she's there to do It's always calculating to get ahead, to do something to get in a different circumstance, because that's the goal. So Elton John has made an appearance in this UK court this time in a case invol involving Hollywood star Kevin Spacey. So the singer gave evidence in London's Southwark Crown Court on Monday at Kevin Spacey's assault trial. Spacey, he pleaded not guilty to, to the seven to the 12 charges of offensive offenses, alleging a committed um, of the four victims who accused him of aggressively groping them aggressively it's like oh don't touch me that's aggressive <laughs> you know people think this that they can just get away with things and yeah that kind of things happen happen to me all the time folks oh yes it did happen let's refocus so among the documents presented in the court were party photos including Meghan Markle and Meghan Markle's something royal funds, including photos of Meghan Markle were included. OK, former friend of Markle's recalled attending a party at Spacey's um, billionaire home of I believe this of a, of a billionaire's home where Meghan appeared charming and gregarious, gregarious, oh, gregarious. Can you just imagine? Imagine. I can see it now, <laughs> you know, wanting to find an English boyfriend. And we have heard that that's what she was out to do by Liz Condi. She we heard her. She's looking for an Englishman, a very proper Englishman. And she found one. She found not one that's uh, 
pretty much ruined his life. She was on the hunt for him and she found him. Elton John is aware of the situation and hints at possible blackmail being involved. So Harry's stay at Elton John's home did not go well and it appears that Megan doesn't truly care for him and others close to the family have also learned. So Sir Elton John, we know Harry had this whole blow up with Elton John um, when they went to went to visit him and Elton John was going to have his book in the newspaper that Harry was suing and Harry was like, how dare you? And Elton John's, well, I'm trying to sell my book. And Harry was like, but how dare you? You know, it's me. I'm suing them. Don't have nothing to do with them. It is just petty. Like other people can't make money, but Prince Harry can because he's done things that throw his own family under a bus. So like, just go kick rocks, Harry. We ain't listening to you. Okay, so Sir Elton John has been a close friend and confidant of the couple. Uh, speaking to them daily during their, you know, the turbulent times that they had. So Prince Harry and other high profile individuals appeared at the high court preliminary hearing of the case against Associated Newspapers, the publishers of the Daily Mail and the Mail on Sunday. Now, both Harry and Sir Elton John were seen attending we saw them attending the four day hearing through um, um, Harry's reportedly being well, Harry reportedly snubbed by the cold hearted singer and he was not seen at Elton John's Oscar party. So this is why they didn't we didn't see them together when they were going to court. They 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 just don't get along anymore. And and who can blame you for not getting along with Harry and Meghan because of how they are They're, They are the grifters, as we've heard. So apparently during this whole case, Elton John provided some in information that showed Meghan during at these parties. And we can see that she was in the underbelly of Hollywood trying to get up because if you're a pretty girl, you're going to be invited. You're going to be invited. Come on in. But Megan's mindset was, well, can I get in and then kind of make some connections, do a little bit of underhandedness to kind of get my way in Hollywood? And we've seen that we've seen her. Wanting to get ahead in Hollywood. This was number one mission always for her. Apparently she was at these parties with, uh, you know, other very famous people, very rich men. And there are some accusations about her. And then about Elton John, um, you know, having to testify, not giving of this information willingly, but being, you know, speaking truthfully and saying that, you know, she had some shady deals that she was trying to get going for a, a part in an HBO show. And so when I see this information and then I see the news that is coming out about Harry and Meghan now going to possibly be with Amazon's Audible and that they're even looking to pay them even more money than Spotify. I think, oh, my goodness, Meghan and her shadiness and her dealing now with the PR side. Because before it was the shadiness within the Hollywood parties, getting in, doing what she has to do as a pretty young girl to make those connections with people that were important to her career. We have seen the people that have been convicted, high profile people who have been convicted in a court of law for doing things that other young pretty girls have accused them of. And now these very powerful men have been accused in a court of law and convicted. We've seen Bill Cosby. We've seen Harvey Weinstein. We've seen Danny Masterson. Yes, that was his name. Danny Masterson being accused. So we see from what has happened in these court cases of men going to jail, being convicted of things that they have done to women, young women. Yes, it happens. OK, now. But then you have the women who like the ones that were able to have these men convicted, they didn't want that. They were like, hold up, wait a minute, I'm not that kind of girl. But these men not willing or liking to hear no, don't care. And so they get they end up going too far. They're found out and they've gone to jail. So we have the evidence of it happening. But have we ever thought about the girls that say, OK, <laughs> okay, you gonna give me a roll?
You're going to give me a pot. You're going to give me a little something, something. If I give you a little bit of something, something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Have we ever thought just maybe, just maybe Meghan Markle was maybe that kind of girl? I'm not saying she was. Let's just get that straight. But have we ever looked at the tenacity of a person and what they are willing to do and think just maybe, hmm, I could infer a few things here. Oh, yes. And that's what we're doing here. So we see what has happened in this case with Elton John and that he has seen Meghan Markle at some parties and that she was definitely mingling with these people, these bill billionaires and very famous people. And she's been able to get a little bit of something, something in Hollywood. And, and just on a personal note here for me. That always just was like, that's a that's a shame, man. That's a shame that a woman has to go through such just nastiness to do something that she truly loves and wants to do. Now, not all women, I could say, have this, but there's a big chunk of them that do. Even the unwilling ones that find themselves in these circumstances like I did. <laughs> but, oh, OK. That might have to be a, a part two, a Hollywood book. I might have to write about that. My first book that I wrote was more on the educational side of traveling and being in foreign countries. I might have to do a book on my Hollywood dealings because let me tell you something. Hollywood is very shady. OK, and just being a young girl going out to Hollywood, I just could not believe I felt like I was a piece of meat. People were just like everywhere. It was like, oh, my God. I'm like, I just want to act. Can I just get an acting job, please? No. Well, if you want one, you got to. Mm. But I don't want to. OK, well, sorry. Now, that wasn't the case all the time. But the fact that that is kind of a norm, that some women go to these parties that Elton John was talking about and they show up to say, OK, I will. That is disturbing. Because what does that do? It perpetuates more women to have to do these things if they want to get a role because they fuel it. And I believe from looking at this story and seeing how tenacious Megan is, in my opinion, certain types of behavior behaviors fuel a need for men to want this because there are certain women that will say yes but if they all say no they can't get it they can't expect it then it will go away but it really does create a lot of bad things in in the world of hollywood and women and and getting roles i think because of the me too me too movement a lot of it has been tamed down but i don't think it has gone away i think it's very much still there and uh, we'll have to wait and see once production start up again, because we know we have the SAG actor strike and we have the Writers Guild strike right now. So, you know, I'm just hoping that from even this Kevin Spacey case and what was alleged, I'm saying, because I didn't find a second source for this story. But hearing this story, reading about this and thinking could this be true? Could it be that she was there at these parties doing these types of things? And would she do things now, even though we can see she has a little bit more power, a little bit more, you know, credibility in terms of her connection to the royal family. But she's not really getting the things that she has always wanted, even with the connection now to royal family. So I think there's a very sinister side to this within the PR side of it because now we're hearing stories that we know are not true we saw with D Dior they came out and said that we had nothing to do with a Meghan Markle and her being a spokesperson for our products we hear now everywhere that they're going to be going over to audible with their Spotify uh, podcast that has now been like kick to the curb now we're hearing that audible is going to pick it up and give them even more money see that's just the shady side of it because now the connection to royalty gives her more money and a little bit more credibility to have these kind of 
PR puff pieces put out there to seem like she's really doing this. And now Audible is coming out and saying we are debunking it. We did, we're not in talks with this woman in her podcast. Ain't gonna happen. She's upped her game more towards the market of PR. Is she going to now have to resort to continuing to do this? I don't know if she can because Audible has come out and spoken out against. We don't have anything to do with her. Mm -mm. So is she looking now to find her way to someone else that is going to help her get what she wants? Because the girl is tenacious. This was just one of those things where I just kind of had to give my personal opinion about my own experiences to a story that I saw and think, hmm, could that have happened? Is she that kind of person? And then what will she do next? Hey, you guys, it is all starting to come to fruition. And yes, I can tell you, in my opinion, she's just looking for the next victim.